and welcome to Prime News with me Karen DeMello. Let's have a look at the headlines first. Doubling of railway tracks, mega highways, nationalization of rivers are part of a larger scheme of BJP to destroy Goy and Goy Carpon, alleges Alex Rajinal. Appeals to the allies to intervene to save it. Up questions government as to why no action was taken against the mining pollution in Sonchi. Says mining has to stop until pollution control measures are implemented by the companies. Marmugao Municipal Council issues eviction notice to Pushpaganda Goa Sarkar Bandar Vasco to vacate the premises within 15 days. Says repair not possible as damage to the building is beyond repairs. Now the news in detail. Double lanes, doubling railway tracks, mega highways, flyovers, nationalization of rivers are all part of a larger scheme of the BJP to destroy Goinkalpon alleged Alexio Reginaldo Lorenzo. He appealed all allies of the government, namely Vijay Saldesai, Rohan County, to intervene and save both Goin and Goinkalpon. He appealed to all to attend the meeting on environment clearance hearing in Vasco to save Goinkarpon. The coal industry is highly polluting, he stated, and they would oppose it. The controversy has to be brought to the notice of the people as the government lacks transparency. <laughs> Hearing a yet. And a hearing a kite a yay, going crangele, going car pon samadapa. I'm give Magadha. He a opus Zapagosai. This is part of the big controversy. A government put a transparent now. Ililen con loca fudita. A government a get comes of a key plan Kitkoro Solida. For prime video journalist Aditya Bidre, Margaon. Our representatives met with the acting member secretary at the Pollution Control Board to inquire why no action was taken against the mining pollution in Sonshi. Speaking to the media, Valmiki said that mining has to stop until pollution control measures implemented by the companies and monitored by the board. Nike said that Sonshi faced rampant mining without pollution control measures. As the member secretary was on leave, the acting secretary seemed to know nothing about the case. He said that GSPCB showed no sense of responsibility on their part and AAP would force them to issue the orders to ensure mining is stopped. We have told him that we will not be leaving until he issues orders to shut down the mining. Zoparin, Sonshicha, Gawanje, Ozun Parin, Pollution salla ani as parin salat asa ani hanche file moves ata pollution control board uh, board meetings geta ani kine kine sangta to parin sunshi cha gawani swas geopna udak piopna we are not accepting that the mining in sunshi has to stop until pollution control measures are implemented by the mining companies and monitored by the pollution control board. Ravindra Velip, the tribal front up, alleged that 10,000 trucks pass on a daily basis and spoke of the pollution in their water and air caused as a result. There is a lot of trucks in the country. There is a lot of trucks in the country. There is a lot of trucks in the pollution control board and the mines department. There is a lot of trucks in the country. There is a lot of trucks in the country. Transport is a lot of trucks in the country. There is a lot of trucks in the country. Galta Baitesa contaminates the lesser Lokan Zakpachikosha Munan Lokani judicial custody in Raupaya Kuche prefer Gilne, Punta Barisoruna. And in Magadistaki Kuitari Eka government authorities of Abdaraza. Mutaki Zomeran take consent to operate Ryok Kurna and proper measures getna, Tomeran Ame Ansula Algena. For prime video journalist Sunny Narvaker Panjim. The Mormuga Municipal Council has issued eviction notice to the Pushpaganda Goa Sarkar Bandar to vacate the premises within 15 days. The MMC Chief Officer Dipali Naik informed that the MMC has planned to construct a commercial project at the site. The Pali Naik informed that the Goa Sarkar Bandar had dues of 60 lakh rupees, out of which 8 lakhs were paid. 
Sahakar Bandar had given a proposal of repairs, however, the MMC rejected it as it found that the building was beyond repairs and could be life threatening if the Bandar continued to house there. Poor chairperson, how many councillors, me don't know soon. The inspection, Kerala, and I am poorly that it is very dangerous to occupy. And the maximum block you can see, and in local, and the consumer, and the as that. But I am telling you, notice, Kerala, that you have 15 days of weather, then you have to check it out. It is beyond repairs. And I am just looking at the application repair. As that, I am consider to do it. That I am just looking at the patchwork. Do it. One day, the whole, the whole, then it is danger. लोकांचे हेल्थ आग रेंजर जाए कौन आने आता हमी काटते कि सही पूरा प्रोजेक्ट गेट ले अनि मागी तंग का दिव्य पच्चे कहना थे ठहरे थे ले आज वह तेरा मित्र का एविक्शन नोटिस ऑलरेडी कर ले अनि तो शेष हम जो आनी बिल्डिंग है साथ आज तो ना हमें 190 सेक्शन एंड 249 सेक्शन हैं सगरे सोपस कर पूर्ण के ले अनि ह अनेक 8 लाख भरी ले, 60 लाख अत्ले 8 लाख भरों ते रिपेयर परमिशन दिए शे मंटा ले, उन्ह आमी दिवन तंग का कि देखा कि इस बियोंड रिपेयर, अनेक 8 लाख 60 लाख अत्ले 8 लाख बराबर है 1 परसेंट सुधर शे तुम जाए ना नहीं मुझे ते चले 10 परसेंट सुधर जाए ना, तो जब खतिर आमी तंग का संगीत ले कि तुम्ही आनी थोड़े बड़ा एक 25 परसेंट बड़ा आनी मगर आमी रिपेयर नहीं दूसरे अल्टरनेटिव प्लेस पे फॉर प्राइम वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट किरण बोरकर वास्को the activists who had petitioned to the High Court against the decision of the STM to close the case of Father Bismarck, calling it an accidental death, enlisted the highlights of the High Court, which has ordered a reinvestigation of the case at a press meet held on Tuesday. Petitioner in the case Samir Kelekar alleged that there was a conspiracy to give bad name to Father Bismarck and also to kill him. Sudip Dalvi, one of the petitioners, read out the various observations made by the Honorable Court while ordering a reinvestigation. The court had observed that the fact what led Father Bismarck to the lonely place was not established. It also observed that the police department did not follow the set procedure despite a complaint being filed by the family members. The Honorable Court also observed that the prosecution has to realize that even a small contradiction or error may destroy the confidence and credibility of the investigation. Court further says that when serious allegations are made in connection with the alleged crime, it is the duty of the state to preserve law and order and to provide specific investigation in serious crimes in the larger public interest. It further says that the right guaranteed to the citizen under the Article 21 of the Constitution of India not only recognizes both the life and liberty of the accused but also that of the victim. And not only the victim himself but his near and dear ones as well as the community at large. Further, it is the duty of the state to ensure that the truth is discovered so as to prevent the miscarriage of justice. Pursual of the complaint, which was filed on 7th of November 2015 by a brother of Father Bismarck, that is Mario Dias, prima facie discloses the commissioning of a cognizable offence, that is murder. And as such, the police department is not at all justified to deny registration of an FIR in that crime. Samir Kelikar, another petitioner, said that although the crime branch cooperated with the petitioners in the initial stages, later they tried to disrepute Father Bismarck. He said that it was a conspiracy to give bad name to Father and also to kill him. In the initial stages, the crime branch cooperated with us. Due to, I am on a number of uh, security lists and I know some people who work with CBI. They were invited here and we took along with the help of crime branch, the call detail records. The call detail records themselves show a number of glaring contradictions. In, in the closure report of the police, the two boys said that uh, father received a phone call in the middle of the night. Call detail records do not show any phone call received by the father. Secondly, there are a number of phone calls made in the middle of the night by people who are who, who were enemies of father and some of them are awake all night 
on the night of the 5th. So, so the basic case is that it is not clear if the two boys took father to Babar Manas at all. And this story, I, I condemned even the police department for trying to distribute, trying to bring, bring mad name. You know, one of the questions they asked, why was father there at night with the boys? Father was a drunkard. The question is, it is not clear at all whether father went to Babar Manas. The five boys saw, saw him some other place. So it's a conspiracy to give bad name to father as well as kill him, you know. For Prime Video Journalist Mahesh Vaingankar, Panjim. The state government partially lifted the ban on the recruitment process to government departments that was issued in November 2016. The government will do so in a phased manner and define the standards for a single recruitment process for common positions in the concerned departments. Phase 1 includes all grant and aid educational institutions, government educational institutions, Goa Medical College, Goa Dental College, Institute of Psychiatric and Human Behavior and Directorate of Health Services. Well, it's time for a short break. Stay tuned. This is InfoMedia Prime Slot Network. You're watching Prime. Your voice, your channel. Welcome back. The Nationalist Congress Party have urged the citizens of Vasco to attend in large number for a public hearing which is scheduled at Tilak Maidan Vasco on 26, 27, 28 April over the expansion plans of the Mormugao Port Trust involving the expansion of coal berths. Jose Philip de Souza said that the people of Vasco don't want the menace of coal and wood chips, dust pollution. He, however, maintained that the cargo such as food grains and other which are non-polluting will be welcomed at the MPT. He also has informed that the commissioning of the four-lane highway would create more pollution due to the bulk transportation of coal from the four-lane highway stretch. सजेशन <laughs> The NCP President Joseph Philip de Souza, while commenting upon the recently held assembly election, has blamed Congress for the defeat of NCP in the state. He disclosed that the Mahagat Bandhan of like-minded political parties could have fetched more seats for the alliance partners, but Congress decided to go alone in the assembly election. <laughs> Oh, a nationalist Congress party for alliance kelle I is 27 seat hai tal. Total alliance achhe. Kya baat? Aun kitha toh ta? Mahagathbandhan. Alliance achhe Mahagathbandhan door kelle. Dale Congress achhe 21 hai tal hai. Congress achhe. Goa forward 4 de 5 hai tal hai. Vatale seat. Nationalist Congress party 3 de 4 100 percent hai tal hai. Aun kitha munda? Ye tar ye tal asan de pida kelle. For Prime Video Journalist Kiran Borkar, Vasco. Goans for Goa has once again given a call to all Goans to come to the wholesale fish market in Margao with all their musical instruments or even cans to raise their voice against the bad shape of the wholesale fishing market at Margao which stinks and has also become a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Kennedy Afonso, President of Goa for Goans, informed that GFG had given an ultimatum to the government to clean the wholesale fish market and restore its hygiene within 10 days' time. 
However, even after 25 days, no cognizance has been taken. So, Goons for Goa had given an ultimatum to the government some days back to clean up the place, to restore hygiene back to the place within 10 days time or that we will take appropriate action. Almost 25 days has passed, nobody has taken a, has taken a call on this nor has visited the site. The local MLA, the fisheries minister, the CM has not. Mr. Vijay Sadesa has visited Sahasrara for a photograph. He visited the Joggers Park for a photograph. I wish he went there and saw the stink there and take a photograph and publish in the papers. On 30th of April, we have given a call to all goons. I mean, sokale koi karan gulo malla. Tenchi guitar ha, ten kore kiten gumta ha, ten kore kiten ha musical instrument. Ten kore kai na dilat imki lata, kotteo, dobe, yon thing ayu chhe. We are trying to raise this awareness about this fish market, and we want and seek your help and cooperation in this. For Prime Video journalist Mahesh Vaikankar Panjim. The Bar Owners Association has issued an ultimatum to the government to come out with a solution to the ban by 30th April. Failing this, they have vowed to take to the streets to deepen their protests. This was stated by Advocate Amit Palikar, advocate to the association. Palikar said that people felt there is a divide and rule policy with the government trying to split the people. The meet was to sensitize all owners that the association was behind them. There has been no positive steps shown so far, he said. <laughs> Palika said that one measure could be filing a curative or review petition in the Supreme Court. The ways and means within the framework of the law would have to be looked into. He said that now it seems the government was delaying the process for reasons they know best. For Prime Video Journalist Aditya Bidre, Margao. Office bearers of the rent -a car Association visited the Office of the Directorate of Transport to demand the lifting up of the moratorium on the rent -a car vehicles which has been imposed for the last five years. However, the Director of Transport or the Assistant Director was not available in their office. Amir Shrodkar, spokesperson of the North Goa rent a cab Association, alleged that their file is lying on the Chief Minister's table for over a month, but the Chief Minister is not signing it. He said that the government should understand that it is the Goan youth who are suffering. As the government and by the monitorum got la permit a duchi no mono, Sami Mak the government agade cards of mono, and at that pongelar cook time the lasa. कि गवर्नमेंट हम तो कड़े हैं तब बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट और खेटा सेकेंडली यह तब ऑलरेडी सीएमआर जा टेबल जा हम जी एक मोने तो ली फाइल आसा मो फाइल पाउल लिया सा तो आज उन बसुन परिकार जो जो साइन मारे ना मगा काय समझा ना ते का पांच वर्ष नेले तो पांच वर्ष आ जाए दिले आमी ते जगड़े मांगता कि बाबा हम जो रेंट नोट गो रेंट करा जाए हम जो परमिट हम का करुं दी करुं दी हम ये ये इनका कश्य समझा ना कि आमी गोइंग चे यूथ मुनो आनी तुम्हीं पांच � Vice President of the Rent a Car Association, Nitesh Chudankar, said that 58 vehicles and 5 offices have already been registered and the youth who have to pay the installments are suffering because there is no income as everything is put on hold. Almost 3 months ago, our issue is pending. According to law, we have already registered 58 cars. We have already registered 5 offices. We have to hold our hold. अरे हम चाहे इतने पैसों पे इन्वेस्ट कर लो हाँ 58 गाड़ियाँ अने ऑफिसर आंको है तो सोकलो होल्डर हाँ वहाँ एक महीना तो लांग डायरेक्टर हम तो 
प्रोसिजर वसत आज अजू कई रिजल्ट डेल्लो ना हेचो सो आज आम तक मेवपा गेलो पुण अनफॉर्चुनेटली तो हंगसर ना सो फाला परतून ये तक एपॉइंटमेंट घो आज फाला तक परत मेवपा येलो पोया कि रिजल्ट ये हेजो पे तो मगने आम ये कि लिगलाइज कर इतने बेगीन क्या ऑलरेडी पे तीन महीने पे भूगें पे हेल्प के लिए फिफ्टी एट गाड़ियों पे एक पन्ना गाड़िया पे मिनिमम पे रेजिस्ट्रेशन कर परमीट घ लगता तो पन्ना गाड़ी फिफ्टी एट भूगे बाबड़े तीन महीने वाले गाड़ियों बेकार धरून आ तीन महीने इंस्टॉलमेंट तैंने पे के खूब दुख दिता है पोपा फॉर प्राइम वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट महेश वाइंगणकर पैनजेम In order to avoid the accidents prone zone on the bypass after the Banastari bridge the traffic department has made diversions and have diverted the traffic going towards Ponda through Banastari market however it has put the commuters from the frying pan into the fire the road which goes through the Banastari market is a very narrow road when heavy vehicles are diverted from this road the situation becomes even more precarious especially for small vehicles and the two wheelers however when prime interacted with the traffic police deployed on the road the police sub inspector downlaid the situation sari jo bhai pool asa ne anga ta diversion kela lokan ki jala ata lok samraman padle kashe hota pulle hota तो हा सदर्भ में तुम्हें लोक कैसे डायवर्जन कैसे जता लोक कैसे कॉपरेशन मेटा पैली एक स्टार्टिंग थोड़े त्रास जाए आता कहना ना आता बरे वैता लोक वैता आ सगले कहीं पुलिस दौरले आता बरे वैता कॉपरेट करता लोक फलक जे पे आसा फलक तुमका दिष्टे पड़ना पे ये जे बोर्ड जे पे आसा साइन बोर्ड जे आसा मोटे जाए दिना तुमका प्रॉब्लम तो हेवी वेहकल्स वाले वाले गाड़ियों ये करता रोड ब्लॉक कर डायवर्शन कर पड़ता खबर आसा पा मार्शल हो रस्त अरुंद आसान चेवटेन तक डायवर्शन दिला सो तदर्भ में मार्शल वैसा डायरेक्शन दिता नहीं पस्तो तो लहन आसा थे कहीं प्रॉब्लम जता क्या ना ना प्रॉब्लम जाऊना सो बाणस्तारी हो जो पा मेजर हंगा एक्सिडेंट जता क्या सदर्भ में क्या कश एक्सिडेंट जता एक्सिडेंट ठराविक जागर जता पा सद्या ना सद्या ना नो एक्सिडेंट जाऊ फॉर प्राइम वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट संजय नाइक पोंडा Konkani filmmakers face a lot of hardship related to financial support, adequate infrastructure, and lack of mass popularity factors affect the development of Konkani film in the state," said Deputy Speaker Michael Lobo. He was speaking on the occasion of Konkani Cinema Day organized by the Dalgara Konkani Academy in association with the Art Academy of Goa and Entertainment Society of Goa. He added, "The government will definitely support the cause of promotion of Konkani films." The Goa State Primary Teachers Association is organizing the first Goa State Government Primary Teachers Convention on Wednesday, 26 April from 9:30 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. at Community Hall, Taligao. This was announced by President of the Association Prakash Kaunkar at a press brief held on Monday. The convention will be held in two sessions. Dr. Pramod Savant, Speaker of the Goa Assembly, will preside the inaugural function. Revenue Minister Rohan Kaute will be the chief guest. In the second session, Dr. Sagar Deshpande, chief editor of Monthly Zaran Garden, will deliver the keynote address. Retired teacher Zillu Gaukar will deliver a paper on the subject Teachers and their Association. Teacher Sureka Naik, Sunanda Korde, Pradeep Pirnekar, Vijay Mavlinkar will also share their thoughts. Ghena Maksa Uddesh Govatil सग्या प्राथमिक शिक्षक एकत्रित करून शिक्षण नावर क्वालिटी कसी वाढ़ेल शिक्षण की आ सरकारी शाला ज्या हा सरकारी शाला लोक समझ अस है कि सरकारी शाला दिवसेदिवस कमी पटसंख्या जी कमी होते ही पटसंख्या कमी होनेमाग की कारण का हा अधिवेशन शोधली जी फॉर प्राइम वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट सनी नार्वेकर पांचे Chachil Brothers coach Derek Pereira now joins FC Goa as head of youth development and also assists with the ISL team. This was announced by Akshay Tandon, president FC Goa, at a press conference recently. 
Tandon also announced the launch of a developmental squad that will ideally play in the Goa Pro League. This is part of the initiative to develop Goan football at the state level, rather than just the FC Goa ISL team. So we are going to be launching a developmental squad that will ideally be play, uh, playing in the Goa Pro League. Um, we have signed coach Derek Pereira to come on board as the head of our youth development um, and also uh, assistant coach or the Indian coach for the ISL team. For Prime Video Journalist, Sunny Narvekar, Panjim. Tell us how you like this newscast. WhatsApp is on 9637969244 or email us on newsprimegoa at gmail.com. Well, that's all for the news now. Stay tuned for more news and updates. Till then, keep watching Prime.